Russia committed more war crimes today by launching 38 missiles all over Ukraine, targeting our civilian infrastructure and residential buildings. I'm Maria and I'm updating you on Russia's mass missile attack on the 14th of January 2023. This morning I woke up to explosions in Kyiv, but there was no air raid siren, so I was a little confused what was going on. I thought maybe it was demining or some exercise, but it turns out that Russia had fired ballistic missiles, and because of their speed and trajectory, initially our warning systems did not pick them up. The air raid sirens did go off some time later, as Russia continued firing more missiles from their warships on the Caspian Sea, submarines from the Black Sea, as well as from the air with their bombers and jets. In total, Russia launched 38 missiles and 25 of them were shot by Ukrainian air defense. Unfortunately, the missiles uh, that got through did a lot of damage. They hit two thermal power plants, leading one of them having to stop producing electricity. I'm sure, guys, you have seen pictures and videos coming out of Dnipro. But one of Russia's missiles today destroyed a residential building in Dnipro, where so far five people have died, including one child. Another 64 have been injured, of which 14 are children. Our emergency teams are currently still digging through the rubble to look for more survivors. This attack was so evil that Ukrainian businessman Korban has offered a reward of $25,000 for information about the Russian servicemen who launched the missiles at the residential building in Dnipro. The other missiles that were launched in the afternoon hit critical infrastru infrastructure targets in Dnipro, Odessa region, Lviv region, Ivano-Frankivsk region and Kharkiv. The rest were shot down even over Kyiv. The Russian invaders are having no success on the battlefield. Even in Solidar, where they have some success, they do so with a ridiculous number of casualties. So, as usual, they continue to target civilians. There is no neutrality in this war, no matter what people say. Either you support Ukraine and provide us with the arms we need to protect ourselves, or you support Russia by doing nothing, or worse still, block our allies and partners from delivering aid to us. What do you think, guys, after Russia's repeated war crimes? Is there anything such as being neutral? Please let me know in comments. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing updates for you. Slava Ukraine!